What is going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog. This week, Bree and I are in Europe. Yesterday, we left Austin and we flew into Munich, Germany, and then we drove about three hours west of Munich, and now we are in the Black Forest of Germany in this small little town of like 10,000 people called Bad. Liebenzell. I don't know how you say it. We can't pronounce like 90% of the words here. But we'll be in this area for the next couple of days and then we'll be driving down to Switzerland. We'll go through Zurich, Lucerne. We'll be staying in the Interlaken area near the Swiss Alps. We'll be there for about four days and then we'll drive across Switzerland through Liechtenstein over into Austria. We'll be there for a day near Innsbruck and then we'll drive back up north towards Munich, Germany where we will spend the last couple of days of our trip and we'll be going to Oktoberfest. So it's gonna be an epic week. We have a ton of fun stuff planned. We're gonna see a bunch of new places, try some new foods, and just dive into a new culture. Kind of rainy and cold pretty much the whole time we'll be here. It's a lot colder than I anticipated, so I did not bring a lot of clothes. I'm wearing Jeremy's sweater right now. Boop, boop. Looks great. It's gonna be a great week. It's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a great vlog. Let's go explore. Let's go. Germany, day one, fit check. We thought it was gonna be summer. Instead, it's fall. Today, we are going to Bad Wildebad. Bad Wildebad. Also, this moody weather has us feeling a little it weird. It has us feeling cozy, like we wanna stay inside and sleep and watch Netflix. And I mean, look at the view we have out of our window. We could just sit here all day looking outside. It's real nice. But we're gonna go do some stuff today, so let's go do it. Let's go. Right, we just made a little stop at a bakery and another grocery store from the bakery. Some pastries. I got a croissant. A croissant. And then we got a little cherry thing. You see it? That is oh. delicious. I think it's marzipan. Let me try. Jeez. And then inside of Aldi, they had this like bakery pastry vending machine type of thing. Just gave you a whole pretzel just like that. Now to the treetop walk. lunch at an Italian place and got some appetizers and such. Definitely the closest I've had Italian food to Italy itself. Now we're gonna go get a piece of black forest cake because we're in the black forest. And so we were told we have to try it. So we're gonna go get a piece of that from- Cafe Konig. Cafe Konig. Parking's a pain in the ass around here, I'll tell you that. Jeremy almost plowed into a crowd. He the road act. just ended into this like square of all these people walking around. So I had to back up. Do you read German road signs? Cause I well, don't. I can tell when no cars going that way. Also the sparkling water here is so finely carbonated. It's like, it doesn't look carbonated and you taste it but, and it's just so crisp. The bubbles are so fine and little. Crisp, it's crisp carbonation. Well, we'll get you a glimpse of our cake. See you later. <laughs> Good one. Konig and we got a couple pastries. We got some macarons. Cute, so cute. Oh my god. And then of course we got what we went for, a slice of the black forest cake. 
Oh yeah. I think it's great. Delicious. Black Forest cake, 10 out of 10. So we're gonna take the car down into the town, go grab some food, just go walk around afterwards. Indian, maybe get some gelato. We're pumped. All right, let's go do it. We are all packed up at our Airbnb here in Germany. And now today we're gonna to be driving about four hours south down to Switzerland. So today's gonna to be a day full of driving. We're gonna stop in Zurich, Lucerne. We're gonna be up in the Alps and it's gonna be beautiful. Goodbye, Germany. We'll be back. We'll be back. For Oktoberfest. Let's go. All right, we just got gas in the car for the first time. And apparently here in Germany, it's um, more based on the honor system. You fill up the car first with gas. You choose from one of the seven <laughs> gasoline types they have, and then you go inside and pay. I, w I went inside first because out here, I was like, there's nowhere to put a card in. And so I go in and ask to pay for our pump. And they're like, no, you have not filled up the car yet. So I went out, just put gas in the car and then went inside and paid. All right, we're uh, gonna head to Zurich now and go grab some lunch. This drive is just beautiful. Going through the Black Forest, it's, uh, it's pretty epic. It's gorgeous. Yeah, in Switzerland. We made it to Zurich, Switzerland. We are at Zurichsee. Zurichsee, I think that's how you say it. It's just this big, beautiful lake. Downtown is right on the water. The Alps are behind us and uh, it's beautiful. The temperature is nice. The sun's out. The water is crystal clear. It's gorgeous. It's wonderful. we are officially in the Alps and it is freaking gorgeous. We just stopped at this little gas station, got some Swiss chocolate milk. I got a weird brati. Brati? Uh, brati? Um, got some more pastries. We've had a lot of pastries on this <laughs> trip, but there's bakeries everywhere. Like all the gas stations have bakeries. We're like 20 minutes from our Airbnb and this drive through the mountains is just nuts. Gorgeous. All right, let's uh, head to our Airbnb and we'll see you there. Ciao for now. Shoosh. Shoosh. This is our first full day in Switzerland and uh, look at this view behind me. I'm literally just standing on the little patio of our Airbnb and I've just been staring at these mountains all morning. It's incredible that this, this place is real. I don't think these videos or photos do it justice because it is absolutely beautiful. This morning I 
I had a nice little four mile run. The host for our Airbnb made us Swiss breakfast with some cheese, bread. Um, she made me a poached egg, some like local jelly and honey. It was all delicious, it was so good. And now we're gonna go check out Interlaken. So let's go do that. here at Harderkulm on uh, top of Interlaken and it is absolutely beautiful. Look at that view, it's nuts. This back here, that big peak is Jungfrau right there. Gorgeous. All right, we just got off of the Harder Kulm train up to the top of this mountain behind us. Now we're down in the town of Interlaken and it's beautiful, it's so clean, everybody's friendly. And we're gonna go find some chocolate, some Swiss chocolate. Yes. Hopefully they have dark chocolate. I, hope I bet they do. So cool. See ya. And Brie is just so cute. Look oh. at her. <laughs> Right, we stopped by the Swiss Chocolate Chalet and grabbed ourselves some chocolate. We got six little pieces of dark chocolate. We got like tiramisu flavored, creme brulee, and we found this cute little bench in this beautiful park um, in front of this casino. All right, I got tiramisu. Then this is creme brulee, I believe. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Oh, mine's got coffee inside. That's delicious. That is some of the best chocolate I've ever had. Switzerland, literally a utopia. This place is perfect. I love it. Ciao for now. All right, Bree and I just got ready in our Airbnb. We're going to dinner now over in Interlaken. Uh, we're gonna go to a fondue dinner. I'm hopefully gonna get some more schnitzel because I've been craving some schnitzel. It's so craving? good. Craving some schnitzel. All right, outfit of the day. Outfit for dinner. Outfit of the dinner. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get some fondue and schnitzel. Maybe a wiener. A wiener schnitzel. morning, Brie and I are in Lauterbrunnen. This place, I think, might be the most beautiful place on planet Earth. If you ever see videos on Instagram or Facebook from Switzerland, it is probably from here. It's just this little village down in this valley surrounded by these massive rock walls and waterfalls everywhere. Beautiful. What you got? I got a hot chocolate with soy milk. Cappuccino. And you got a cappuccino? Behind me, there is a massive waterfall. And then over here is downtown Lauterbrunnen and there is a little village up there. On the hill, we're gonna take a train up there. It overlooks the whole valley. All right, we hiked up this little trail. We can kind of overlook the valley a little bit. It's just so beautiful here. It is, it's and there's gorgeous. no one up here. All the tourists are down on the street, and we're just up here by ourselves getting the best view. So surrounded by mountains and waterfalls. Right, we 
just hopped off of the train up to Vengen. It's this little village, like perched halfway up this just giant mountain. Um, and it overlooks the valley of Latrobrunnen. And it's just, it's bougie up here. It's beautiful. The Jackson Hole of Switzerland. The Jackson Hole of Switzerland. I feel like all of Switzerland yeah. is yeah, Jackson Hole. Like Just left Lauterbrunnen. That place was so beautiful. I could just stay there forever. Never leave, I'd be okay with that. Now we are going to kayak on Lake Brienz. And it's like a really blue turquoise color lake here. Yeah. And the sun is kind of setting and it's warm and we're excited. All right, let's, uh, let's go kayak. Tschüss. Tschüss. Ciao, ciao. Up, it said that even the lakes in Switzerland are safe to drink because it's just so perfect and pure. That's not what it said. <laughs> That's fucking good. <laughs> Literally, I'm gonna have another sip. It's so clear. Right? Does it taste like Gatorade? It literally just tastes like water. It tastes like tap water. Just got done kayaking. I got a little <laughs> soaked on my pantalones. As you can see, we are wet here and here, and mostly wet back here, because we hit some gnarly waves in the kayak, and I was in the back and we got sploshed. Worth it though. Now we're gonna go eat some schnitzel. We'll see what they got. So good. So good. We were eating at a Michelin restaurant. And guess what? It, it wasn't even that expensive. It was 107. Yeah. And for like Switzerland? Especially for Switzerland. Like we spent more in Texas yeah. on a, a taco meal. We're gonna head back to our Airbnb, go to sleep, and then uh, we're gonna head to Austria tomorrow. Ciao, ciao for now. final day here in Switzerland. We're a little sad to leave, but uh, this morning we're hopping on this gondola back here. And we're gonna take it down to a little town down here called Meiringen. Um, we're gonna go to a bakery, cafe, grab some pastries and some coffee. And then we are heading to Austria. Gonna see a whole bunch of new stuff today too. Should be a good day. We made it to Austria. It is beautiful here. We didn't really know what to expect. We're only here for like 12 to 15 hours. So we didn't have a lot of time to really like plan some stuff. So we didn't really know what it was gonna look like. And it is freaking gorgeous. The sun is setting behind us in the mountains and uh, we're way the heck up here. And there's some goats down there. That's probably what you hear somewhere down there. I don't know, it's beautiful though. All right, we're gonna go grab some authentic Austrian cuisine. So we'll see you there.
We just finished up our dinner. It was so good. So good. Uh, we had uh, pulled pork with potatoes and bacon, and we had two different kinds of soup. We had mac and cheese, like Austrian style mac and cheese. Chocolate mousse cake dessert. My gosh, it was delicious. And pretty cheap for like a really nice restaurant. It yeah. was $65 with a tip. Yeah, and now we're gonna go walk through Altstadt, which is a, like a popular square, like walking area here. It looks like Hogwarts. All right, let's go check it out. Wow, we did not expect it to be like this at all. This is super cool down here. Super cool. It's like a Hogwarts in real life, but it's like super college town because it's a lot of young people and like party life down here. Yeah. And the scenery is just gorgeous. It's like beautiful. Like Switzerland, so. Our original plan was to just leave Austria tomorrow and head up towards Germany to see some stuff there. But now I think we're gonna spend a little bit more time here in the morning because it is just beautiful and we wanna be able to see it in the daylight. So we're gonna do that tomorrow morning. everyone. Today we're gonna go back into Innsbruck where we were last night, check it out, grab some coffee, then we're gonna do a little road trip up through part of Austria, through the mountains in Germany, stop at some lakes and some beautiful spots and castles, end the day up in Munich where we originally started this trip where we'll be for two days after that for Oktoberfest. Yay, I'm so excited. Let's get this show on the road. See you later, Hogwarts. See you in Hogwarts. <laughs> This is a very cool city. It's uh, very colorful. There's a lot of people walking around. There's a lot going on. A lot of cool little shops and restaurants. It's very historic feeling. The only thing that would make it better would be a butter beer in my hand. A butter beer. Now we are heading back up towards Germany, back up into the mountains, so it should be beautiful. All right, we made it to the first stop, which is Wagenbrüche. It is so beautiful. It's so green. There's little wildflowers everywhere. It's just so beautiful. And there's like nobody here. There's only like a couple of groups of people. It's not a very uh, popular lake, but gorgeous. Hello. We are on our way to Neuschwanstein Castle, but before we get there, we're gonna stop and have a bowl of soup because it is rainy weather and we are feeling some type of way. So we want some warm soup in our bellies. It's the uh, Disney Castle. Have you ever seen the Disney Castle? That That's based off of Neuschwanstein. Okay, well, we will see you there after we have some soup. You will see our soup and then we will see you there. Okay. Ciao, ciao! Shoes! <laughs> Unfortunately, we could not go up to Neuschwanstein Castle because they were sold out of tickets for the day. So we missed it, unfortunately, but it is beautiful. It looks just like the Disney Cinderella Castle. Yeah. Perched up on the mountain with beautiful mountains behind it. Beautiful. And it's a nice foggy overcast day. So there's some clouds rolling through. It's very beautiful. And then we stopped by St. Coloman Church. It's this historic church just out on this big flat piece of grass where you can see Neuschwanstein behind it. And it's just a beautiful picture spot. Again, the mountains, the castle, the grass, the flatness, the Germany is also beautiful. Now we just got done eating some lunch slash dinner. 
it was good. We got schnitzel and uh, sausages and pretzels and soups and like goulash soup and potato soup and we got an apple strudel and a black forest cake. Yes, very authentic German food. It was very good, honestly. It, the, it always looks kind of weird and it sounds kind of weird, but everything tastes delicious. Now we are going up to our hotel in Munich. Another solid day in Europe with Brie and Germany. Yes. See you later. All right, it is officially our last day here in Europe. We are spending the day touring Munich, Germany, and our first stop is at the Residenz Museum. It's a big art museum, so we're gonna go take a walk through it. Very excited. home to old German and Bavarian royalty. So much detail and all the art and the design and decor. It makes me want to live during that time period. Yeah. To go to balls and wear huge dresses. Go to balls? Balls? I like balls. Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty, yeah, very beautiful. Now we are heading to Marienplatz. It's a popular like city hall, city square kind of thing. So we're gonna go check that out. We just got done with our lunch and it was so good. It was a, kind of an American French style cafe, but it was so cheap, super high quality food, but it was like $30. Both got drinks, both got entrees. It's like surprisingly very affordable here. Now we're heading to a famous church and it's raining and Brie is cold. Grab the umbrella. She wanted me to grab the umbrella. I said, we don't need the umbrella. It's not gonna rain. And, and what do you know? What? I said. Those clouds look gray. It's probably gonna rain. I just wanna get to the spots faster. I'm gonna grab my coat. <laughs> Just left Hofbra House, and that was a pretty awesome experience, if I really do cool. say so myself. That's like a very famous, maybe the most famous uh, Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest beer garden, very famous spot. Very cool. It was just a big party in there. Pretzels, giant beers. Everyone here is a happy drunk. The beer was so smooth. Honestly, probably one of the best beers I had, but it was so big, and I am such a lightweight. He that was so drunk. <laughs> I was only able to drink half of it. If we weren't driving, I probably would have finished the whole thing. But my goodness, after that first half, like 15 minutes in, I was like, whoa, ooh, ooh. hold on a second. We just don't drink that often. Yeah, never. And the beer here must be real good. I don't know, it was very good. This is a great way to end our time here in Germany and in Europe yeah. as a whole. This place is wild. It's basically like this big fair. There's food everywhere, there's rides, everybody's drunk. It's cool though, everybody's like very happy, like in a good mood it seems like. Everybody's like celebrating, it's really cool. We got some cotton candy, we got some nuts. It's a cool place. All right, we just got back to our hotel from Oktoberfest and holy cow, that was wild. 
crazy fun. We definitely want to make a point to come back here, maybe with a group of friends, so we can buy some lederhosen and join in on the fun. But we have a really early flight in the morning, and we have to get up at like 4 o'clock, so we figured it'd be best that we weren't drunk for our 4 a.m. flight. <laughs> yes, but still a great time nonetheless. And this is going to conclude our 10-day trip through Europe. We drove over 1,200 miles. We saw four countries, saw some amazing stuff, had some great food, met some great people. It all flew by, it all, at this point, just blended together because we've seen so much in such a short amount of time. But it's been amazing. It has, I'm sad to leave, but I'm also ready to get back because I hear my dogs chewing at my camera. Yeah, our dogs are wrecking our house. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys in the next one. Shoes. Ciao. Ciao for now. Ciao, ciao for now. I'll be the same.